Hi guys, Wendy here. In this video, we're going to draw my draw so cute snow globe. So let's get started. With this snow globe, we're going to first start by drawing a big circle. So I'm going to start by right here. And it's not going to be a complete circle because we're going to have to add a base to it. But we just want the top part of the circle. And I'm freehanding it because I don't care for it to be perfect at all. Just want this nice round shape all the way around. I just think that when it's too perfect, it looks too computerized and it doesn't add to it, right? <laughs> freehand a big circle, it just adds so much character to it. Okay, so there. It's a little bit wobbly, but it's okay. So then from there, I've ended at about the same spot on the other side. So I bring this in a little bit. So we're on the same level. And then from there, I'm just going to add a flatten out curve. So not too curvy, just a flatten out curve like that to finish it off. And then from there, about in this area, we're going to add an angle line for the base. So about right here, where you started to curve up, we're going to add an angle line. So let's do the same thing for the other side. I'm just going to go straight across. So about where I ended right here, then add the same angle line. And from there, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it with a big curve all the way across. So there, that is the basic shape for your snow globe. So now you can add whatever you want in it. So for mine, I'm just going to add a snowman and a Christmas tree. But first, we're going to start and give it a base. So about right here, towards the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and wave a curve all the way across. So this is my base of snow. And from there, I'm just going to add a snowman on this side. So I'm just going to start about right here. It doesn't really matter. Because if you start too high or too low, it just depends on how um, it will just determine the size of the body. So about right here, I'm going to start and draw my snowman's head. So it's just a nice big oval. About right there. And then from there, I'm going to just start to draw the body. So I'm going to come in here and give it a scarf. So about right here, centering my head. And from there, I'm going to add the rest of the body. So I'm just going to add out a bigger curve that comes out. So whatever your, um, wherever you start, this is going to determine how much of your snowman you see. So this, um, this is about it for my snowman. And then from there, I'm going to start to bring it to life. So I'm going to come up here and give it a hat, very simple hat, on both sides. Just curve it and give it a top hat. So on both sides, curve, and add some decoration right here, a little band. And let's see, for our scarf, let's give it some layers right here. So one, another one in the back, and you can add some of the tassels. And let's come in here and give it some color, so you can give it some bands like that. And let's see here. Okay, now to bring it to life, I'm going to give it a little nose right here, the carrot nose right in the center. So it's just going to be a curve, and then I'm going to bring out it to a point. And then from there, I'm going to add two round eyes on either side. So it's too small for draw so cute eyes. So I'm just going to add one little highlight. To both eyes. Oops! <laughs> My eyes are getting bigger as I try to fix it more and more. Okay, so then come up here with a little curve to anchor the eyes and of course a cute little smile on this side and cap it off. Okay, and so then now let's give it some hands. So I'm gonna come out right here and just bring out a stick and then you can just add two little lines like that for the hands and the other one's going to be on this side so same thing like that and of course you're going to add some buttons right so right in the center i'm just going to add three dots okay so our snowman is done now let's start on a tree so i'm going to come up here close to the snowman and i'm just going to give myself a point as to where to start my tree from this dot i'm just going to bring out a curve 
So this is going to be the top of the tree, the first layer. So everything's nice and centered. And from there, I'm going to start to zigzag it out. So I'm going to come in and then bring out one layer, another layer. So do the same thing on this side and another layer. And so I'm going to get wider and wider as I go. So another one right about there. And let's see here, let's bring down this one a lot lower. And so we were going to see it on the other side, so about right here. And let's just bring it out. So come in here and keep bringing it down. So I'm just going to come down here and just finish it off some zigzags. Just make it nice and easy all the way at the bottom. And then towards this, in the center right here is where you're going to put the trunk of the tree. So just two little curves like that. And um, let's see here, up here we're going to add a star. So I'm going to start from my bottom. I'm just going to give it two lines and I'm going to go straight up right here to give my point for the top. There, and then I'm going to add some little lines right here because it's sparkling. <laughs> and then from there, let's add some um, curves right here. So on each layer, I'm just going to add some decorations. So these bands of color on each layer. And one more band right here on the bottom, the last layer. And then from there, I'm just going to add some big circles for ornaments here and there. So decorate your tree however you like. This is supposed to be the fun, relaxing part. Okay, so there, I got pretty much um, decorated tree right here. So then from there, let's decorate our base. So I'm going to come here and just give it some snowflakes. And let's say we're going to start in the center right here. You can leave it blank, but I just want to decorate it, add some more um, <laughs> Christmas uh, holiday spirit to this snow globe. So I'm going to come here and just draw a straight line down in the center. And then I'm going to put a line across it, a slight curve just to follow the curve of the base. And then from there, I'm going to um, make two more on the other side, on these, both sides, I mean. So same thing. I'm going to follow the angle and then give it a slight curve and same thing on this side. So angle and a slight curve. So I have my three nicely even out and then I'm going to come in there and make them snowflakes. So I'm just going to make it very simple snowflake. I'm just going to come in here add circles on the ends. And well, let's finish this one too. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here and draw an X right in the center of each one and add a little V on the ends. So the same thing on this one. Just a very simplified snowflake. And one more over here. And of course, in the center, I'm going to add a heart because it's a drop so cute snow globe, right? So right here in the center, I'm going to add a heart and one more over here. And then, of course, it's a snow globe, so we're going to have to add a lot of snow. So here and there, I'm just going to add a bunch of circles, some big, some small, just to mix it up. So I'm going to start by right there. I'm going to draw my big ones first, just to make it a little bit easier. Put it here and there, and then I'm going to go in some medium sized ones all over the place. Some smaller ones now. And just to make it look more believable, on the tree itself, just add some smaller ones so that when you color it, just leave it white so it looks like the snow is falling all over here. So I'm gonna like right here where there's some color, you can just add some smaller ones. Like that. 
So there, my draw so cute snow globe. I hope I made it easy for you to follow along and inspires you to draw something very cute for this Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.